Alright, hey YouTube, Nate here, and this is a video to answer questions about the Dazzle capture card for Mac. Once I uploaded the unboxing, I get questions and messages almost every day about this capture card, so I'm going to answer most of them. I'm going to just go through the process of how you use it and all the way into the Mac when you want to edit the footage you get after TV. So let's just get right into it. So, the first thing you want to do is get your laptop or whatever Mac you are using close to your TV, if it isn't already. For instance, mine is usually right over there, but the cable is not long enough to make it, so I just bring my MacBook down to the ground. So, once you've done that, you can go ahead and plug the USB port into the computer, and that's the easiest part. <laughs> go ahead and back this up a little bit. So, what you want to do is get whatever console you are using, it's RCA jacks. And I forgot to mention, I use this for video games, but this works for any RCA component and S-video component thing. So, one thing that I know a lot of people will get this for is if you have an old camera, for instance a Hi8 camera, if it doesn't have a firewire or a USB port on, which almost none of them do, then you can get this and if you have the, the camera's cable that connects to the TV for instance my camera cable is right here you just plug this end to the camera and this end into the RCA ports onto the Dazzle and away you go and you can do everything the same once I get to the laptop part but for this video I'm going to be worrying about a video game console and there's one big difference when it comes to consoles and that is the fact that on the consoles you need direct motion because what I mean by this is when you're playing the video on the computer it's gonna have a lag and it's just gonna be a little off what is showing on the, out the input device so this is a big problem when you're trying to play your video games because video games rely on instant you know reaction so what you need is some splitter cables. I got these at Radio Shack. I think they're about three bucks a pop. Pretty cheap. And what they do is allow for one input, one output to become two. So, what you do is take the cable that you want to plug into the TV and each one you put a splitter on. Okay, so now that all of the cables have the splitters, you can go ahead and put each into its corresponding jack on your TV. I usually go on the front jack of the TV. It's just the easiest way to do it for me because you also have to get your dazzle right in here. So now you take each of the corresponding jacks and put it into the corresponding color on the dazzle. It's pretty self-explanatory and there you go. That's all there is to it. So, just to review, we got all of the splitter cables connected to the TV in its corresponding jack. From there, we have it going to the Dazzle, and those are connected to the cable for the Wii, or any video game console you choose. And your Dazzle will then go to the laptop. So, it's a pretty easy setup. Hopefully, I explained it to my best of my ability, and there it is. So, it's pretty easy to do. Okay, so now that everything is set up and you have your Dazzle plugged in, you have to open the software that comes with, and it's called Pinnacle Video Capture. So, here we go. So, go ahead and name it. I'll name it Resident Evil 4 or something, because that's what I'm going to play. Well, looks like Brawl's in for now, but as you can see, your Wii screen shows up, and yeah. So make sure it's on composite, because you see S-Video will give you nothing. So compos composite is what's in. So after you do that, you know, the audio cables, it'll test that too. As you can see, they are working. And at this point, you can turn on your TV, you could have done this a long time ago, and just turn it to whatever channel 
you have it plugged into. For instance, mine is on the front, so I changed it to the AV front, and now it's displaying on both my computer and on the TV, so it's easy to play. So, once you got that, you can just hit start recording and record whatever it needs to be recorded on. So, after I record some footage for you guys, I'll show you how to get it into iMovie. So, one thing I will mention though, everyone asks, this is it is it ugh, can you use it in iMovie? And yes, you can, but you can't import directly into iMovie. It's kind of annoying how you have to do it, but we'll get there later. And also, I have not figured out a way to use it with Ustream or anything else. As far as I know, Pinnacle Video Capture is the only way to get it from the TV onto your Mac. And I'll show you how to get the file once I get a file on here. So let me just record some Resident Evil 4 for you guys and I'll get it from there. So all you have to do is hit the start recording button and when you got as much as you want hit the stop recording. It's easy as that. Alright so once you're done recording whatever you need to record you can go ahead and hit the continue button and after it's done that you can go ahead and quit Pinnacle Video Capture. A lot of times it'll give you a message warning you like this that you need to continue exporting so just hit the continue button so now you can go ahead and open iTunes apologize for the lag on my computer it is an older machine so it does experience some lag when running multiple functions so once iTunes opens go ahead and go to the movies and you should have Resident Evil 4 show up or whatever you name the file so go ahead and right click and say show in finder once you've done that I typically will move the file to my external hard drive but what you can do is just import it right into iMovie but I'm gonna go ahead and just move it into my external hard drive so open a new finder tab and just drag Resident Evil into Macintosh Geek folder. Once I've done that, can go ahead and wait for that to finish. Okay, so you can go ahead and delete this out of iTunes now, and you can just move the file to the trash because we have it in another place, but you, you'd you want to keep the files if you didn't move it. So once you got the file where you'd like it, you can make a new iMovie project. I'm just going to call this one Pinnacle. No, let's call it Dazzle. Yeah. Dazzle. <laughs> wow, I'm a nerd. So go ahead and create that. And now, go ahead and drag the file in. And where is it? Okay. So just drag it in, and once that's done, you can go ahead and edit the movie however you like so now go ahead get your dazzle capture card and make some sweet halo 3 ownage montages or do whatever you'd like so thanks for watching and if you have any more questions feel free to leave a comment or send me a message